outside working on moving a wood chip pile and I thought I better document this because I kind of realized I hadn't documented any of it. What I mean by a wood chip pile, you know there's a chip drop, the big commercial trucks, well, I got them to drop some chips here when they come to clean out the uh, right away for the power lines, which goes over there, you can kind of see where it's at. They clean that out every couple years. They also cut down some trees down along here, topped them out because the power lines run here and the trees are impeding with the power lines. Anyways, they left me this massive pile of chips that was about, huh, originally it was about six feet tall and I never walked this off to see. I could do that real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's about 21 feet by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it was about 21 feet in diameter, six feet tall. And you can see I'm more than halfway through it now. And that's kind of why I wanted to bring this out here to kind of show you. I've been using a bucket to fill up a wheelbarrow, and I've probably filled this up a hundred times. And there's a lot of things I've used it for. One of the first things that I did with these wood chips was I went down through here. You can kind of see where I've got my blackberries at. There's a row of blackberries right here between that first pole right there and this pole over here. There's about a 65 foot run of blackberries. And because I had rabbits getting in there, I left a gap over here about three foot wide that's like a walkway and it's got a field fence about two feet tall that keeps the rabbits out and then I had deer get into it one year so I run normal four foot tall field fence down this edge and then I got field fence that goes all the way around the orchard so it kind of like made a path here where it gets overgrown with weeds and it's actually getting overgrown with weeds now which tells me I need to put down more wood chips here. But I'll show you what I did. I kind of went down and used the wood chips. I went down and did the wood chips in the walkway and it helped a lot with the weeds actually. Then over here I did another area where I planted my rhubarb. I made an area for the rhubarb. All in front of the fence, of course the deer come and wipe them out I'm getting ready to have to come up with a solution for that. Basically the whole front entrance of the garden this way. And then I'm also working on building a path down on the outside of the garden and across the back. And let me show you why. I just cleaned up all of this here also, all this brush that had overgrown while I had cancer. I'm trying to get it cleaned up. So you'll see like a lot of areas where I come down through here with a machete earlier and cleaned out this brush line. So the reason why I'm doing this is the baby ticks this year are absolutely horrible. And they were last year too. Like I don't know, since I got cancer, they just eat me up. I can walk down through here one time and go inside and pull anywhere from four to eight or more baby ticks off my legs. So I decided to do that pathway and also get rid of this brush to kind of help with that. I think that's what part of the problem is. Everything was just overgrown. And I, this is the old landscaping cloth I tore out of the garden when I had the raised beds in here. Of course, I didn't do a garden this year, but I am keeping the weeds down so that they don't seed and all that stuff. Anyways, I just thought I'd go ahead and do this. So I've been bringing piles down here I basically dump piles every couple of feet apart, two or three feet apart, the whole length of where I'm doing it at. And also other areas I put the wood chips. If you notice over there in the blueberries, 
I used it as mulch on top of like the blueberries. I used it as mulch for, that's a fig tree. I used it as mulch for these pawpaws. So I've used this, these wood chips all over the place and they didn't cost me anything. All I had to do is ask them, hey, will you dump your stuff here? And they said, yeah, where do you want it? And I was like, wherever you dump it. And they literally dumped it right in the access part of their, <laughs> right in the access part of where they need to come. And I've been like thinking all year, because I this is like last fall when they did this. And I've been thinking all year they're going to get on me because I haven't moved this pile yet. Anyways, let me show you how I do this. I'll show you how a very quick way to fill up a wheelbarrow with wood chips, way quicker than using a shovel. If you have a way that you feel works better than my way, uh, leave a comment. Let me know how you do it, if you think it's better or is faster or more efficient. And uh, if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. First thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need a five gallon bucket and a wheelbarrow. And the trick is, Right, here we go. Nothing more than a garden rake. Let me show you how I do this. This works very fast. I've been doing this this way for quite a while. All you need to do is take your garden rake and just go like this. You're basically using it to rake it in. Now I'm getting stuff off the ground right now because I try to keep the ground cleaned up. Then when I want to really fill it up, I just come up here And I can fill up a wheelbarrow in just a couple of minutes. You try to do it with a shovel and what happens is you go to stick the shovel in this pile, it just gets stuck. Like you can't push the shovel down, you can't really get a good bite on it. But doing it this way, you're actually pulling the material into the bucket. And it works very fast. I've done about 100 wheelbarrows this way. <laughs> I know, I tried. I tried other ways. This is the most efficient way that I found that works. Now this is an old time wheelbarrow. It ain't one of these little small tiny ones you'll get from like Walmart. This is built probably back in the 60s. I've got one of those old cheap wheelbarrows also. It only holds about a third of what this thing holds, which is why I'm using it. And we are basically clear full. So however much time that took, that's how long it took. Getting ready to start the next part of this, which is basically spreading all this out. And I just use a garden rake. I don't worry about it being perfect initially because right now I just want to get it spread out and then see if there's high spots or low spots that I then need to come and fill out, fill in. is going to be some areas because I kind of skimped in some of these. So here's what we got now. We'll go ahead and walk up through here with you. There's a few low spots. I'm going to have to bring another couple of loads to 
down through here because I did also come up a little short up here. There's a low spot there, one over there. This whole area right here is kind of low. But I'll get it on here thicker and uh, just keep going until it's all done. That's what it'll look like, though. Hope you liked this video. Again, if you found this useful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And as always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.